Goes half. Taken quickly. Barden out wide on the right. Trying to get to the byline against Howe, and he beats Howe. Now inside the penalty area. Barden beats another man. Left footed shot, and it's in! <laughs> no mistake at the near post with everyone just waiting for the pass. Barden says goal and buries it. What a finish from the Englishman. Well, that was the thing of beauty. And Fury are on the board, deservedly so. LA Galaxy wearing the all-whites going from left to right. St. Louis, and their captain, Jonathan Barden, going to play an Austin Martz here into the area. Can they carve a, a quick opportunity? It's lofted towards Kalistri, and it's in! And, five and then the chip by Barden to Kalistri, who is unmarked, is sensational. But it's that ball right there. It's the mark. Sent across. Dixon trying to get ahead on it. Mizell had to come with strong fist, but it's back out to Barden. Barden towards the outside, sends it across. It's a great ball in. Dos Santos! This one not able to get a lot on it. Mizell does get it out, but it goes right to Ottawa. And from that point, it was a good ball in. And on the back post, that may have actually been... It's exactly textbook performance. Just coming out, punching it away. Barden approaching the byline, serves across. And it's equal... Everybody in the stadium thought this ball was in. Oh, passing it back. You. Yep. It's a good build up for St. Louis. The cross into the area. The opportunity Oof. over the ball. Gets wide. Whips it in. Too far out for the keeper to come. So he gets stuck out. And Yo again wins it. Plays it wide. Here's Barden on the right. With a cross. Headed towards goal. What a effort. And Carried away by Gorick. Time, this could be it for Ottawa. Another last chance as it's sent wide right. Barden, Barden with a cross, headed towards goal. And will be shared here today at TD Place. Great delivery again from and out of Jamar Dixon just past the halfway line. Moves this wide right. John Barden cuts inside, beats one man. Barden inside the penalty area. On his left foot, now to Howard. That stopped, and the rebound. On the spot to bury the rebound to equalize this one here in the 68th minute. So 1-1 one, one. there. That's this forward, Howard. Comes on the right side, and it's Cito. Good work, into the pew in the header. Now it's turned over by St. Louis. Over to Robinson, aggressively marked by Barton, who was thinking, I'm, I'm guessing, was thinking about trying to intercept that pass, and he'll slide it beautifully. Excellent form there and clean tackle. Since been substituted. Has a good run now by Burke, and great work again, and a great tack TD plays. Uh, that last effort from John Barton, not... Back at a tear pack. Not a great first touch. Barton goes sliding in. Well, what a difference in the game than, than it was probably about six, seven years ago. Barton Hello, hunting down. Show with 23 caps. He's no Will Grigg, though. He's not on fire like Will Grigg. <laughs> That's your boy. Boat, good turn. Boat dribbles in. It's a good tackle by Barton that gets him off the ball. spot on the left. I think they've really defended well on the ground. I, I think they've stayed organized. I, I think once they talked about this earlier, Tommy, obviously this battle should be... The game is just how well coached they are, how well organized and disciplined they are. So it's been interesting to see how they manage the first 15 minutes. Ball sent in and in the starting lineup this week. Here you see a great ball through around the outside. Edward able to break that down and now Barden plays it into the middle. Right side, they'll push in the midfield.
field. Drop, drop, drop. Good ball here towards the side of the... He plays it back to McElhaney. Now to Barden. Teams come in here and get results despite that. New York Red Bulls too. It was the opening goal of that match back on the 20th of May. Here again, they being pulled down. Should have been a free kick in his mind for the Tampa Bay Rowdies, and I wouldn't argue with that. Oh, we're hearing two minutes, minimum of two minutes of stoppage time. All right, here's Fury countering. Good ball through to San All. In behind the defense, flag is down, and there it is. The most goals scored in a single match. Eight goals now between the two sides. Five. The box. If you're a St. Louis striker, it's been a oh, it's been a tough evening of possible chances and bad. In 820 minutes, an incredible strike rate. He's capable of doing it. T2 as he's Loria taking off the ball. Strong by Barton. The way my body feels, I'm just happy to get out of bed in the morning. Most teams that face St. Louis feel this. I think large in part Anthony's tactics are genetic. All lobbed over the top, Herzog. All coming out and just takes a touch across his body. Needs to do better from there. He's got a good angle. I think Strong did a job by the defender, and they'll work it out the middle. Over the top, towards the corner. They gave up kind of a sloppy goal right at the start of the match. Yeah, I, I can guarantee their coach is probably not very happy about that. Their sixth shot on goal but the first one that's really seriously tested the goalkeeper and McLeod really didn't have any, any chance. The smart thing that Anthony Poulos did is he knew, knew that LA Galaxy is struggling to score goals, which means... Wide on the right. Header won by the 18-yard box. It doesn't get inside as it's cleared away. Barden wins it. That explains the tattoo he has. Well, it explains his knowledge of the internet.